Hi, everyone. Get ready for expert tips, practice questions, and clear explanations, all designed to make your NCLEX journey smooth and stress-free. Subscribe now and let's make NCLEX success easy together. Question 21. A client's serum sodium level is 118 milliequivalents per liter. Which intervention is most appropriate? A. Encourage water intake. B. Administer 3% sodium chloride. C. Restrict sodium in the diet. D. Administer hypotonic IV fluids. Correct. Answer. B. Administer 3% sodium chloride rationale. A sodium level of 118 milliequivalents per liter is severely low, posing a risk for cerebral edema and seizures. Administering a hypertonic solution such as 3% sodium chloride helps to raise the serum sodium level and decrease brain swelling. Strategy. Tip. When sodium is critically low, especially less than 120 milliequivalents per liter, look for a hypertonic solution as the treatment, not more fluids or hypotonic IVs, which can worsen hyponatremia. Question 22. A client with heart failure is receiving furosemide. What is the nurse's priority electrolyte-related assessment? A. Calcium level. B. Magnesium level. C. Potassium level. D. Chloride level. Correct. Answer. C. Potassium level. Rationale. Furosemide is a loop diuretic that increases potassium excretion in the urine. Low potassium hypokalemia can cause life-threatening arrhythmias, especially in heart failure patients. Strategy. Tip. For any diuretic except potassium sparing types, like spironolactone, check potassium first. Loop and thiazide diuretics commonly cause hypokalemia. Question 23. Which signs would the nurse expect in a client with hypocalcemia? A. Muscle weakness and lethargy. B. Constipation and abdominal pain. C. Numbness and tingling in fingers. D. Hypertension and flushed skin. Correct answer. C. Numbness and tingling in fingers. Rationale. Hypocalcemia increases neuromuscular irritability, leading to paresthesia, tingling, muscle spasms, and positive Chbostek's and Trousseau's signs. Strategy. Tip. Think neuroexcitability with hypocalcemia. Look for clues like twitching, tingling, tetany, or facial spasms. Question 24. Which client is at highest risk for developing hypermagnesemia? A. A client with a colostomy. B. A client with chronic kidney disease. C. A client with a history of stroke. D. A client taking thiazide diuretics. Correct answer. B. A client with chronic kidney disease. Rationale. Magnesium is excreted by the kidneys. Clients with renal failure are unable to excrete magnesium efficiently, which leads to hypermagnesemia. Strategy. Tip. Think renal impairment equals risk for electrolyte retention, especially potassium, magnesium, and phosphorus. Question 25. A client has the following ABG values, pH 7.32, PACEO 2 48 millimeters of mercury, HCO 3 24 milliequivalents per liter. What is the interpretation? A. Metabolic alkalosis. B. Respiratory acidosis. C. Respiratory alkalosis. D. Metabolic acidosis. Correct. Answer. B. Respiratory acidosis. Rationale. The low pH, acidic, and elevated CO2 level indicate respiratory acidosis. The bicarbonate is normal, so the cause is respiratory in origin. Strategy. Tip. Use R-O-M-E. Respiratory opposite, metabolic equal. High CO, 2 plus low pH equals respiratory acidosis. Question 26. The nurse is preparing to administer potassium chloride IV. What is the most important safety measure? A. Dilute in 100 milliliters of D5WB. Administer via IV push C. Use an infusion pump D. Give rapidly in an emergency. Correct answer. C. Use an infusion pump. Rationale. IV potassium must be administered via infusion pump to carefully control the rate and prevent cardiac dysrhythmias. Never give it four push. It can be fatal. Strategy. Tip. Never give IV potassium as a push or bolus. Always choose infusion pump when dealing with IV potassium. Question 27. Which statement by the client indicates understanding of fluid volume overload precautions? 
A. I will weigh myself once a week. B. I should drink at least three liters of water daily. C. I will call the doctor if I gain two pounds in a day. D. Swelling in my feet is normal after work. Correct answer. C. I will call the doctor if I gain two pounds in a day. Rationale. A sudden weight gain of two to three pounds in 24 hours indicates fluid retention and should be reported to a healthcare provider immediately. Strategy. Tip. A rapid daily weight gain is a red flag for fluid overload. Choose the answer that reflects daily monitoring, not weekly. Question 28. A client with low magnesium complains of muscle tremors. What is the best initial action? A. Administer calcium supplements. B. Start seizure precautions. C. Encourage fluid intake. D. Monitor sodium level. Correct answer. B. Start seizure precautions. Rationale. Hypomagnesemia can lead to seizures due to increased excitability of neurons and muscles. Seizure precautions prevent injury. Strategy. Tip. For low calcium or magnesium with tremors, anticipate seizures. Choose safety interventions like seizure precautions. Question 29. What clinical finding best indicates effective treatment for fluid volume deficit? A. Decreased serum sodium. B. Increased heart rate. C. Normal skin turgor and urine output. D. Decreased blood pressure. Correct answer. C. Normal skin turgor and urine output. Rationale. Normalization of skin turgor and urine output reflects rehydration. Tachycardia and hypotension indicate ongoing fluid loss. Strategy. Tip. Urine output is one of the most sensitive indicators of fluid status. Good output equals good perfusion. Question 30. A client with a serum potassium of 6.8 mL equivalents per liter is ordered sodium polystyrene sulfonate, KXLate. What is the expected outcome? A. Increased potassium level. B. Decreased urine output. C. Removal of potassium via feces. D. Absorption of potassium into bloodstream. Correct answer. C. Removal of potassium via feces. Rationale. Kaexalate is a cation exchange resin that binds potassium in the intestines and is eliminated via the stool, lowering serum potassium. Strategy. Tip. For hyperkalemia, look for treatments that remove potassium from the body, not just shift it between compartments. If you enjoyed this, hit subscribe and like. It helps us make more videos like this for you.